I felt very in control for a lot of it. Um, like my shots were doing what I wanted it to do. The putts were falling. I didn't have too many like bad hits, bad shots. Uh, so that's also a plus. I felt good after the practice round yesterday. I love the course, the super green, great greens. And uh, it was pretty much designed to, to my strengths. And uh, I went out there to attack the course. I could only make one birdie on the back nine, but um, I was getting loose towards the uh, end of the uh, middle, middle towards the end of the round. But um, I got it back together, secured a par on the last, and um, achieved the ultimate goal, I guess. Coming into this tournament is pretty different to what I normally play with, because the rough and the green is just not what I get used to. So I sort of need a little work to get in here, but I feel like I did pretty good today. And going next, I'm probably going to rest for like a couple of weeks and maybe have a, another few AGG tournaments coming up. And I really look forward to that journey. I think just getting a win under my belt is good. Um, I'm trying to play in college, so having that sort of experience and that, uh, I guess, that win on my resume is important to help my chances. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank just everyone at Westmoreland who made this possible, and obviously AJGA and uh, VM Sports for hosting it, and my dad uh, who drove me all this way and uh, supported me throughout the entire weekend and obviously throughout my entire career. Well, I know that with like I can compete with the best golfers because obviously the AJGA brings a lot of good golfers, and also that I can like compete for like maybe like a playoff hole, whether it's just one hole or like 18, and then I'll always be able to like stay on my toes and like just adapt to what I need to do. This is my first playoff, so yeah, I was definitely kind of nervous, but I was also excited because I felt like I could make a long putt like I did. Uh, I'm definitely excited uh, because I made a long putt on the last playoff hole, so like I, I definitely feel like excited and like not as nervous as I was before it. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad. My dad for bringing me here and helping me like learn the game and supporting me. My mom as well for supporting me. And then just my family and friends at home. And the AJGA because obviously they hosted the event and it was a good field. And then Westmoreland Country Club and the sponsor of VM Sports. Yeah, Kentucky, Clifton Scully. We play in the Huntsville Junior AJGA next week, and uh, hopefully I can work on my ball striking between then and now, and uh, have a good shot at winning that. So. Um, it has definitely given me a lot more confidence, and now I know what I need to work on, and I can improve my game better for next time. They've been good. They've all been really nice to me. They've all helped me out, asked me how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. It just makes me feel more welcome. I really like the golf course. Again, the greens were really firm. Uh, I hit my wedges really well today, especially out of the rough. So that's really it. That helped a lot. This course really suits my game, and I knew if I just played my game today, um, the result would be good. And I just stuck to my game. I battled and came out with the W. Yeah, I want to play a full AJJ schedule and play in some bigger AJJ tournaments. And down the road, I hope to play at a top 25 college. I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Um, it's a lovely course, and I feel like it suits my game pretty well, so I know I can go back out and do this again. So it, it get, definitely gives me a lot of confidence. Well, the course is in really good condition right now. I like both the par fives, uh, the first two par fives and both nines. I think they're just kind of cool holes. You can really use it, get an advantage on those holes, and it gives a risk and reward. Yeah, I just had a good round today, and um, it's a good feeling. There's still a lot of golf left, so stay focused and keep playing well. 
just had a really good mindset all day today, like just come out here and enjoy being out here since, you know, I haven't been able to play much this winter. So I really had a positive mindset and I'd like to keep that going, going into the weekend. Kusa, it's so beautiful out here. I was just telling my playing partners, I was like, I'm from Pennsylvania and it's so green and so pretty out here. So I really enjoy it. I love this course. It's also my home course and like the Kusa River is really good. Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, I've never led a tournament before and this is definitely a first, but it just feels really good to put, put together some solid golf. Uh, I definitely didn't think I would shoot 61, but uh, after I started off with six straight birdies, I was like, okay, maybe we can go take it pretty low today, but I just tried to focus on every single shot and didn't think about what was to come. Um, it feels amazing. Um, I try not to think about what I'll place. I just try to think about how I'll play the best golf and how I am playing the best golf right now. It just feels good to, to play some good golf. Leave everything like behind me and forget for the new days and just like play a new game, new ways, just like, yeah, have fun with it. Um, it feels great because usually like someone comes back and like wins instead. So I'm glad I was able to hold my ground. This tournament definitely gives me confidence because I mean last week I played a four ball and we and me and my partner Fiona ended up winning. That that already gave me a lot of confidence. But this is like an individual tournament, so it gives me like a lot of confidence in my game. I'm just really thrilled because this tournament I had to fight through so much and it really just validated um, the fact that I'm good enough to win out here and that my game is in a good place and where I want it to be. Yeah, it was really hard because I think I was like five under through 13, having a really good day, and then the leg cramp hits on 14. My first AJGA, I withdrew after having a leg cramp because it was so bad that I couldn't walk anymore. And so that experience actually helped me here because I learned what I needed, what I needed to do to continue moving forward and still putting up good scores even though I wasn't feeling 100%. But just finding solutions through adversity is just basically what helped me get where I needed to be. But I really enjoyed Kusa because I, I really liked the greens. The greens were really pure and I really felt like I rolled putter this, this week really well. So my favorite hole I'd say was probably hole two just because it's just a short par five. It just starts off your, right, your round right. 